Welcome back to the Small Business University. My name is Christopher Reagan. In this video, I'm going to take you step by step through filing your employer identification number. The only part I'm not going to do is I'm not actually going to file it because I'm going to be using a example or a simulated uh, business. And so there's a couple of steps that I'll explain what's going to happen after you would have filed it. It's pretty easy, but I don't want to have to file it and then go to the IRS and uh, shut it off. So uh, let's get into it. Let's go over to the IRS website first. So here's the IRS website. It's irs.gov. And um, there's a couple of ways to find the employer ID section. One is right here under tools, they have it apply for an employer ID number. But usually whenever I'm about to do this for a client and probably what I'd advise you to do is go into the Google search and just Google IRS uh, employer ID number. And usually there's a link that comes up where it'll take you right to this next page. But uh, let's click on, on this link here. And this is kind of an intimidating page, I guess, but all we really need to do is, is click this button here. Notice that the hours of operation are only Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So if you try and do this outside of those hours, it will not let you do it. I don't know why that is. I think it's because they just want it done where employees at the IRS can review it. So we're going to click apply online now. Gives you a little bit of warning, only for authorized use. Uh, again, make sure you know what you're about to do, which is create an EIN. Yep, we know, begin application. And here, we need to start making decisions. Now, uh, because generally this course is for people who are, are setting up corporations or limited liability companies, you're gonna choose between these two. If you're an LLC, you're gonna choose here. And if you're a corporation, meaning that you, whenever you created a corporation with the state, it, was, it ended in ink, or ended in corp or ended in corporation, then you need to choose this one. But either way, make the right choice. For our particular uh, uses, I'll, I'll simulate setting up an LLC here. And it says you've chosen an LLC, a uh, little bit of information for you, okay, great. Now, how many members are in the LLC? Well, let's say that it's myself and a partner, so I'll put two. And I'll say that the state of formation was Florida. Wherever you formed your LLC, pick that state. It says, please confirm your selection. You are now considered a multi-member LLC, and that's different than a single-member LLC. And if you remember back to the choosing the right business structure video, if you're a multi-member LLC, by default, until you file your S-Corporation election, you are a partnership and have to file a partnership form. But notice here it's saying if you want to be an S corporation, you can file the form 2553 and do that, which we have a video on on how to do it. If you are a single member LLC, it would make you a sole proprietorship. So that's kind of what they're getting at here. Not, not to worry, uh, just make the correct selection on how many members you have and move on. Now, this will always be because you started a new business. Don't choose these other options. Um, these other options trigger other workflows. It's always you started a new business. And who's gonna be the responsible party? Generally, that'll be an individual. Unless you're setting up a business where an existing business owns it and that needs to be the responsible party, usually this is gonna be you or one of your fellow shareholder partners. And it's, it's saying, you know, let's enter the, re, the name of the responsible party. So let me enter that information. So I've entered some information here. Uh, this isn't my real social security number. So, um, but you would enter the social security number of the responsible party. I've entered my name and my last name. And then I've also said here, I'm one of the owners, members, or managing member of this LLC. Uh, I'm not a third party. Next up is where is the LLC physically located? and uh, we'll put in our address here. So this is where the business is located. And if you have a different address that you want your mail to be sent to, you can click yes here, and uh, it'll ask you for another address later. But generally, I put the mailing address here because I wanna make sure whatever gets sent by the IRS um, is, is sent to me and, and I don't miss it. This is a, a great, little thing to add 
it does not like special characters in anything at the IRS. And the special character here is this comma. So if I if I get rid of that, you'll see this every once in a while. Don't be freaked out by it. Just get rid of any of your special punctuation characters or whatever. It says yeah, it wants to it wants to change and use the database um, version of my address. I'll say yeah, that's fine. And now it's going to ask me what is the name of your LLC. So the name of my LLC is going to be um, Sample Counting Inc. Or LLC in this case. And if I'm doing business differently, I'm in Florida. You know, the articles of organization were filed in Florida, and the start date was, let's say, let's say June of 2016, something like that. Does that make sense? And again, it's going to it's going to now confirm some things here. So let's uh, move it along. Tell us more about the LLC. Does your business own a highway motor vehicle with taxable gross weight of 55,000 pounds? A, a, a trucking company, basically, with uh, over-the-road hauling. Uh, gambling and wage, or, you know, are you running a casino? Um, excise tax. I answer no to all of these. If You need to read each of them. This last one's the one that's going to trip you up a little bit. Do you have or do you expect to have any employees? If you click yes it's going to automatically turn on your payroll tax requirements. So I would advise you to click no here until you actually set up a payroll system and are paying employees. So I would, I would say no here, even though it says in the next 12 months, because ultimately they'll turn that payroll information on and now all of a sudden you gotta file payroll tax returns and you didn't really want to. And then it's gonna ask what what does your business do? Um, what kind of business is it in? You can pick anything you want here. Um, don't don't feel like if if there's something that is not on here, you can't pick other. And whenever I click other, it's going to say, "Well, you know, describe what you're talking about." I am in a tax return prep, right? So I'll continue. And now here is where it says, "Do you want to receive?" your letter online or receive it by mail always choose online always choose online okay because you're going to get the letter after you submit the confirmation so here we are and this is the summary information it's going to allow you to review everything that you've done so you've got your legal name you've got when you started um, you've got everything that you just entered and then when you hit submit that's when it's going to submit the EIN and it's immediately going to give you that online letter that will show you your EIN and it looks like it's from the IRS and you can start using your EIN today. So that's kind of the cool part about this system is you can start using your EIN uh, as soon as you file this the same day. So you can take it to the bank and get your bank accounts opened, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to hit submit here because I don't want to file this. So we're going to leave it as is. But at the end of the day, uh, that is a quick run through of how to do this EIN thing. If you decide, if you, if you were doing a corporation, you would find the questions not much different. And uh, once you, like I said, once you hit submit, you're going to see a link to get the letter, download the letter, save it somewhere where you can where you can find it and then you can use your EIN for anything including your form 2553 that's all that I've got thank you for watching this EIN video uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out to us otherwise I will see you in the next video